The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey everyone, it's Andy Fletcher from Convertry here, and uh, thank you for joining me on this uh, really quite dreary Saturday afternoon. Um, uh, I'm here a few minutes early, you know, the usual drill, we're just going to do a quick tech test. Uh, so uh, if you can hear me, and also if you can hear me like reasonably clearly, uh, can you stick a one in the chat box or say, say hi, like tell me who you are, where you're from, usual thing, let, let me know something. Um, I've been having internet connection issues all day. In fact, I've got a new provider ordered for Tuesday. They're, they're showing up to install it. Um, so I'm really hoping we're going to be okay uh, from for this call today. Um, if it if it goes wrong, uh, my humblest apologies. Hey, Carol, how are you doing? Um, hey, Paul, great to see you. Paul from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, David from North Yorkshire. Um, uh, David says it's very clear. Um, we're swapping to a 4G provider called Relish uh, to give them a go because uh, it's. Uh, I am in my. I live in London, and I didn't think to check before moving into my my flat uh, that it would be able to get you know fiber broadband because it's London, right? How could it possibly not? I am in one of probably less than a hundred houses in central London that can't get fiber broadband. Uh, so I'm hoping this fantastic 4G company that's finally got coverage in my area is going to be better. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, hey, Carol from uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. Awesome. Hey, Patrick, how you doing? Um, Andy, nice to see you today. How you doing? Uh, Gerald, wow, 4 a.m. Oh, I'm truly honoured that you're getting up at 4 a.m. I'm Well, I, I say that, but I, I was up at 4 a.m. this morning too. So we, we, we can be partners in crime. Uh, Marshall's from uh, Wilmington NC. Great to see you today. Uh, Jeff, yeah, no worries. Uh, in fact, in fact, tons of people. I'll say hi to everyone else in just a sec. We're just going to move on to stage two, uh, which is where I try and share something. And we, uh, we put a two in the chat box because we're cool kids like that. Uh, right, Google Chrome, sharing that. Um, I'll keep going down the list of uh, people to say hi to in just a sec. Uh, but if, if a couple of you could say that you can see my screen, uh, yeah or not, tell me you can't see it, if you would know. Um, you should be able to see the uh, lovely looking screen, Laura Mipsum content, Convertory video in the middle. Um, anyway, let me let me go, go back to going down this list. So many cool people here today. Um, uh, Karen from Texas. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I've got uh, Andy Bradley from uh, her, Lancashire. Um, uh, Pat Patrick's making terrible punny jokes saying he relishes Convertry. Uh, we're going to kick him off the call in a minute. Don't worry. Um, uh, oh, God, this interface is so hard to follow. Uh, Ohad from Tel Aviv. Wow, cool. Uh, that's fantastic to see you. Um, hey, Gerald, how you doing? Uh, hey, Sab, good to see you. A uh, whole load of yeses. Fantastic. Uh, hey, Sab's in Dublin. Fantastic. Mason stuck a two in. Thank you very much. Uh, cool. OK, we're, we're about on uh, three o'clock, so I will I will dive right in. Uh, we're going to have a, a slightly different format uh, to normal today. So for those of you um, normally when we do these calls, I'm doing a demo of some uh, a new feature in Convertry or something cool you can do with it. Uh, and when I do those demos, I try and hide the hide the chat box because I'm super easily distracted. And I've had feedback in the past where it's really frustrating for me to be doing a demo of a feature that should take three minutes. And it takes me about 15 because I keep getting distracted and answering people's questions. Um, so I try and hide the chat box to avoid that. But today, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be walking you through like a variety of stuff, taking you through the new interface stuff. Uh, we've got coming up uh, the lovely new templates. You're going to love these. Uh, they are amazing. Um, uh, yeah, new UI. And then talking about the new functionality we've got coming up. Um, I will keep the chat box open, unlike normal, because it's all going to be quite bitty today. Please feel free to ask absolutely any question you like at any point. Uh, just please respect if I say, uh, you know, I will I will answer that in a minute or we'll get to it at the end of the call. Uh, I'd appreciate it. You know, please don't keep typing the same question into the chat box. Uh, I am super easily distracted, but I'll try and do most stuff as we go. Um, the other thing to note is that uh, we've got a little bit of a combination call today. Most people here are existing Convertry owners here to, to hear about and see the cool new stuff that's coming up. Uh, but we've got uh, a bunch of people on here 
uh, from another Facebook group we've been talking about Convertry in, uh, who are prospective Convertry owners. So there may be a few like sales questions, you know, little bits about can Convertry do X, um, uh, and I'll be fielding some of those as we go along. I'll try, I'll try and like batch those up towards the end uh, if we can. But uh, please forgive me while I tackle some of those as well. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, so um, Patrick saying dynamic text will be a game changer. It absolutely will. I'm afraid I don't have a demo of that. Uh, I was I was really hoping uh, I'd be able to demo that because we're getting really close to that one. Uh, but the the, the developer uh, Friday evening was like, "Don't worry, I'll come back in. You know, I'll, I'll work super long hours over the weekend." And I was like, "No, dude, like you know, it's Friday night. Go enjoy your weekend. You know, it, it's not <laughs> one more week on dynamic text is not going to kill anyone." So I li literally, I'm, I'm one of the only bosses in the world that has to tell his staff to go home and have a weekend. They, they all actively like show up and do extra stuff. Literally, just before I came on this call, um, I was chatting to uh, our, our lead designer um, about the, you know, the banners he's putting together. You know, it's, it's a Saturday. You know, we're, they're all on fixed salaries. They're not paid by the hour or anything. They just love working on Convertry. Right, so let's uh, let's start diving in with. Um, uh, it's a super cool. It's, it's a, uh, Sab says uh, super team. Uh, I must be a super boss. It's a super team. I'm a bit of an inept boss. Uh, I'm a technology guy, not much of a boss boss. <laughs> um, but I like chatting to people, so it's cool. Um, cool. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you. Uh, oh, I okay. You you might see a couple of people's real names uh, in, in a sec. It, it shouldn't matter. It's only like customer support feedback. So uh, the first thing I wanted to share with you is this is our cool new help desk. Um, we were on Zendesk until about a month ago and we got really fed up with it. It was, I'm sure it can probably be configured to do the things uh, that we want it to do, but I have a master's degree in computer science and I couldn't figure it out. So I was like, oh, screw it. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to pay the price. We're going to move across. Uh, you know, yeah, it's going to cause a few bumps for a week or so while we get transferred across. And sure enough, we had a load of, you know, we had customer support tickets coming into two support desks. It was a real faff. But uh, we are moved across now. And God, I'm so happy we did. Um, Help Scout has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's really helped us speed up, um, speed up our support. So, I mean, uh, uh, one thing we did was we've hired a, um, another support lady. Her name's Cassie. Um, some of you may have interacted with her already. Uh, she joins Bev and Alexa. And uh, the coolest part about having her on the team is she's in the US. So we've now got uh, Alexa's in the Philippines, Bev is in South Africa, and Cassie's in the US. So certainly during weekdays, uh, we've just got such better coverage now. So I think our, our first responder time on average across the whole week, including the weekends, which is obviously slower, um, is down to about six hours now, which is really exciting. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. I can't wait until we're a load bigger and I can double the size of the team and get it down to like near an hour. But uh, compared to compared to where it was, where it was more like twelve hours previously, uh, I'm really happy that we've done that. Uh, the other the other changes we've made are the the developers are now in the support desk rather than being in a separate system. Previously, uh, if you if you had a technical question or like a, you know, a bug you'd found something like that. The way it worked was you would email support and then support had to manually like take the ticket and put it into the other system. The developer would deal with it and then hand it back and then the, the support person would reply. And that that didn't matter too much if the ticket just got handled. But if if you had if the developer, the first thing they had to do was ask a question, it basically added a whole day's delay while they got back to you. You answer the one simple question and then it goes back through that process. which. Yeah, you know, really sucked. Now the developers are all in the help desk. So when it gets escalated, it's going kind of straight to that person. And th then you hear from the developer straight away. So so if they do have to say, uh, please help me find the page you've got a problem with, I can't find it. You know, that's a 20 minute turnaround rather than a day's turnaround, which is um, oh, so much better. Um, I love it. And finally, the coolest thing, this is the screen you're looking at here, is our happiness score. So as well as being able to measure our first responder time, we can measure our, uh, it's called customer happiness or customer satisfaction. Um, all the SaaS blogs call it CSAT. But uh, basically what it is, is as a measure of like how how well we're doing on support. So any any time you email support in the reply that comes back, there will be the qu a question something like, 
how good was this answer? And your options are great, okay, or not good. And then we, we measure, I get to see, I check this. This comes into a report that I see every single day to tell me, you know, how many people said we were great, how many people said we were okay, and how many people said we were not good. And then our score out of 100 is basically the great number minus the not good number. Um, and we're, you know, we're gunning to get this up above 95%, which is considered kind of world class. Uh, but at 89 after a month, uh, I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, that, that basically means, uh, for every, for every 20 customers that come in, we're making 19 of them are happy enough to say we did great. And one of them is unhappy. Um, you know, that's, that's still one out of 20 that we're dropping the ball on, but that's so much improved. And I know we can do even better still. So, uh, and we've got a measurement of it now um please don't let this sway you um you know don't don't start clicking the buttons if you weren't before like you know don't don't try and help us get the ratings up you know if you genuinely think the answer was great please click the great button uh, you know if you think it was not good please click the not good button uh what i don't want to do with this webinar is create like an army of 40 people who are all like you know writing into support just to click that great button uh and inflate the number artificially because as much as i know you would love to do that um that that will bias the stats you know i want this to be a genuine representation of how well we're doing um uh, uh fred asks what, what what's the name of this platform Th this the thing you're looking at here is called help scout um th this is our support desk of choice i've tried basically all of them uh, repeatedly about once a year I try all of them and this was the first year that uh, another solution other than Zendesk really delivered on what we wanted it to um, they've got this fantastic team set up so you can assign tickets to a team of people rather than an individual person um, with a with a tool like Convertry where you we've, we've got quite a lot of customers you know we're not dealing with enterprise clients who pay us a hundred thousand dollars a year um, you know, we, we've got lots of customers paying us a small amount of money. So we, you know, you, you don't have a dedicated account manager. We have a support team and it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter to us. And it doesn't really matter to you who answers your question. Um, what you care about is getting the answer as quickly as possible. And with other systems, we've had all kinds of problems where a ticket's been assigned to a specific person, you know, then they go on holiday or like, you know, they're just out of the office for a day or they got busy. Um, and that means that, you know, you, you wait that extra time for a response when somebody else on the team was sat there doing nothing. Whereas with Help Scout, we, you know, it gets assigned to the team. And if one person on the team, like one developer, happens to not be paying attention that day, the other three are still doing it. Um, so we've had, you know, much better response. Uh, yeah, Leon's, uh, so this this will, I've got quite a big list of the, the stuff that's coming up, but Leon's asking about Zapier. And uh, yeah, I can definitely say that we're, we Zapier's moved up the list from like a really nice to have to a, to something we consider pre pretty essential now. Um, I'll touch on this more in a bit, but since the since the questions come up, uh, we've um, we're going to do a big sort of physical product e-commerce uh, functionality push um, over the next sort of three months or so. Um, we we did a, a list survey. Hopefully, you guys got that and filled that in. And uh, forty two percent of the people surveyed said that uh, e commerce and physical products were like their their big deal thing that they wanted to see next. So we're pushing on that. And when when we get into e commerce stuff, there's so many things out there you can integrate with that we we can't really hope to do them all. But Zapier kind of already has. So while we'll do as many like dedicated integrations as we can, hitting Zapier means that you guys, yeah, it'll be another hoop to jump through for you, but you can integrate with so many more straight away. We're, we're seeing Zapier as kind of like the big daddy version of the form integration we did early on uh, to at least let people integrate as many autoresponders as possible. Uh, so yeah, that's, um, anyway, I'll, I'll talk more about that in a bit. Uh, so yeah, th this is our new support desk. We're super happy with it. Um, I hope you guys are too. Um, I, some of the names in the chat I've even seen uh, when I review the ratings. Um, so yeah, I, I'm pretty happy. Right, now uh, let's, uh, in fact, I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's take a look at some of the shiny new templates we've got coming out soon. Uh, cool. Hey, Jim. Oh, sorry. I'll get to your question in just a moment. I'm going to go through, uh, go through some templates next. Uh, so one, one of the things, uh, one of the pieces of feedback we've had recently is, or 
fairly consistently over the last few months is particularly the older templates that we released are kind of the ones that were in Convertry when we first launched. They're, they're 18 months old. They're, they're all right, but yeah, you, you can tell they were the first ones we made. They're not that good. So we, we've set our design team onto updating, uh, making new templates, but also updating some of those old ones. Uh, so for example, this is, uh, this is a new free plus shipping template, uh, which takes advantage of the new like form fields we've got. Um, and if I scroll down slowly, you'll see just looks so much more stunning, uh, than the stuff we had previously. So this is our, this is our new free plus shipping one. Uh, the, these these next ones are just the uh, sort of image mock-ups of them. They're not in Convertry yet, um, but this is basically we've re, re I hate that word reimagined. Um, we, we've gone through and we've uh, brought up to date uh, some of the the previous templates. So this is the the one that was previously just called Adventure. Um, we've done a much more modern, sleeker version. Uh, this one in particular, so uh, the, the, this is this is sexy as anything. So the, the lead designer is really pushing on me to sort out a uh, a video CDN. So we're not we are not equipped to start hosting videos like for customers yet. But we've done we've we've done the maths and we're pretty sure we can start hosting some some like you know high res uh, videos to put in these templates that we provide to you. Uh, so they should just work out of the box. Please, please don't hold me to that. Uh, it's it's not confirmed yet, uh, but you obviously you can't see it playing. This is just a static image. Uh, but I can tell you when you when you see this video playing in the background, it looks amazing. Um, so yeah, there's there's this one. Uh, let's see what have we got. Excellent. Oh, lots of people saying that they like what they're saying. Fantastic um this this is one of my personal favorites this so this is uh, a new book funnel um i've i've closed i had all of them open and they're, they're a little bit samey obviously because they're all in the same funnel uh but so i think this looks uh great paired with this is the matching sales page that would follow it um this is a new checkout page uh we've had designed More modern opt in one uh, sales page to go with the the opt in one. I really like uh, where's the these these set, uh, blocks are good. I really like those, and I love this testimonial style. Um, I think this is super cool. Uh, then we've got a matching uh, matching delivery page to go with it. Um, so yeah, that, that's a bit of a sneak peek at the uh, the new template pack. Uh, I don't want to say template pack. Basically, basically updating a load of the existing templates just to make them look uh, modern and shiny. Um, and yeah, our design teams just learned a lot over the last year. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna check the chat for a moment. Oh, hey, uh, uh, Jim's asking about the uh, Convertry templates for selling uh, selling sites to people. Uh, when you click on new, uh, creating a new page in the template list, uh, it'll be in there, Jim. Uh, hey, so, so Sab's asking level of customization. So everything you see in a template, you can change. Convert. We don't cheat at all. Convertry is a completely free form editor. Everything that we've made, we've made with the tool. You, you know, they're made from scratch by us. There's no custom code, no cheating, no nothing. Um, occasionally the design team are like, oh, I've done this, this extra funky thing with like custom CSS. I'm like, no, you, you can't do that. Um, you know, you, only things we can build it, that can be built, our users could build for themselves from scratch are in the templates. So every bit of text you see, every image, you, you click on it and you can just edit it. Um, that's, yeah, that, that's our policy with templates. <laughs> nice one patrick cool any, anyone got any other questions about uh the templates before i move on to the next thing 
I'm just going to have a sip of tea while you guys type if you're going to. Fantastic attendance today, by the way. We've got uh, 50 people live on the call. I'm, uh, sorry, I think I say this pretty much every time we do this, but I am always super flattered that you guys are, uh, you know, basically giving up your weekend time uh, to come and hang out with me live on this webinar uh, to talk about the software that my team's built. It's uh, it's pretty humbling for me. Uh, sorry, Leon. Can you? Uh, um, well, uh, so the, these uh, these ones work as a funnel together. So I, I've just shown two of the pages, but there's I think there's like an upsell, a downsell, like five pages to each of these uh, these funnels that all work together. Uh, if you've got a uh, if you've got uh, HTML pages, and if you, if you have the page importer. Uh, which is on all pro and agency accounts and is uh, available on some standard accounts, uh, then if you upload the HTML file uh, somewhere that it's accessible and point the importer at it, you can bring it into ConvertTree if you want to. Uh, the all, all templates are currently, um, you'll see why I say currently in a minute, uh, currently available when you click to add a new new page um, so um, add a new page and there's the option for a blank one and there's also like the full list of templates uh, that we've released there. Uh, so if you are a pro or agency member, there's about 200 odd templates. If you're a standard member, there's, uh, I don't actually know, I think there's uh, 25, 30 of them. Uh, I haven't checked in a while. Um, cool. Let's uh, let's move on to product stuff. This is, this is probably the bit I'm most excited about. Uh, so... Uh, as you know, basically, as as ConvertTree's user base grows, uh, we we put all the money we make back into growing the team that builds it. Builds it. This isn't, yeah. You know, ultimately, I'm, I'm doing this to make a profit, and you know, I, I'd love to retire off it someday. But but right now, um, at the very start of ConvertTree, I put eighty thousand dollars of my own money into funding the team and everything else, and I haven't yet cashed out even that from the company. Um, yeah, the goal of this isn't uh, to make a load of money now. Um, all the money we earn goes back into growing the team. Previously, we were growing the dev team directly. They, they were our priority because more functionality is better than, like being able to do something, even if it's a bit clunky, is better than not being able to do it at all. But now we've got tons of functionality and our ability to release new functionality is really good. So in the last month, uh, month or two, we've invested in upgrading our product and design team. So we've hired a fantastic new um, UX designer, uh, her name's Asia and she's Russian. And we've hired a fantastic UI designer, uh, who's also responsible for a bunch of these templates. Uh, he's Italian and his name's Matteo. And basically they're, they're now working with me on the, um, I kind of define the, like the, I, I lay out the plan for the fun the problems we're going to solve, the functionality we're going to build. Um, I retain the final say on kind of like what we're going to do, but the most of the day-to-day -day design of the product is now handled by them, and they are unbelievably better than I am at it. Uh, so if we talk about design uh, for a moment, the the current UI that you're used to seeing, so not the editor, but the, the we call it the manager. So basically everything in Convertry that isn't the editor, that was uh, built using an off-the-shelf uh, theme uh, from Code Canyon. Uh, we modified it uh, to suit to suit our needs. Um, I, I did the design work personally for most of it um, over a weekend. That was kind of like the level of investment we were able to make into design at that point. Uh, it's fantastic now to have this uh, product design and like user experience team, uh, just making everything both much easier to use and look so much better. Uh, and uh, I'm really pleased to show you some like sneak peek. Uh, screenshots of what that looks like in just a mo. Uh, hey, Mason. Uh, you, you, if you build a page in Convertry, you can you can sort of host it on another service, but your um, all you're getting is an iframe when you export it. You're not you can't like save the HTML out and put it somewhere else uh, because the, yeah, that's how we're able to deliver such such blazingly fast page speeds. 
um, that you know we serve everything. We're a one-stop shop for it. We're, we're not just like a, a page builder that you then do something else with. We cover the full stack of delivery. <laughs> Ed says uh, we, we should go on Shark Tank. I, I, I'm the US, so our, our version's called Dragon's Den. Uh, I, I think it'd be hilarious to go on TV and pitch this uh, stuff. It'd be really cool. Um, uh, so uh, Jeff, Jeff's uh, asking a question about one of our competitors, so I won't actually mention their name live on the live on the air, but. Uh, So that's that's not not something we've got uh, planned at any point soon. I don't think, Jeff. Yeah. So um, convert. This is something I should stress. Convertry is a landing page builder, um, not a. Um, you know, it it is not a. It's not going to integrate deeply with WordPress. You, you're never going to be able to use uh, like WordPress menus in your convertry pages. That's that's not something we're set up for now or will ever be. E even if you know in six months we started building our own blog functionality, um, it would be our blog stuff, not WordPress. Uh, so that that's definitely not on the cards. Uh, this, uh, this is getting a couple of questions about um, upcoming functionalities. This is probably a good point to talk about our kind of our estimation process and what we will and won't say. So we'll always do our best to tell you what we're working on at any given time. What we don't do is make promises about when it's going to happen. So uh, this is software is really hard. And even up to the day you release it, you can always find something that's broken or stuff can go wrong. Even after you've released it, like you know, things break on you all the time, um, and you know it's and it's our job to to mask that from you. You know, you're paying us, uh, you know, to to make our servers run, to make your pages load fast, all of these things, um, and I think we're doing a pretty good job. But what we what is basically impossible is to predict when stuff's going to be released. So while we we'll tell you a rundown, and I've got a lot, you know, I've got a list of the stuff we're going to tackle next. Uh, what I can't do is say you know, th this thing is going to happen at this point uh, because anyone who tries to tell you they can tell you that with software is probably lying. Um, uh, sort of. So the, uh, the Jim's got a really good question. So he's asking if the uh, convertry.com homepage uh, will be made into a template. Um, the convertry.com, like page itself no like it's it's absolutely bespoke like we haven't cheated at all it is completely 100 percent built in convertry but it is custom built from the ground up and it, it doesn't even really make sense as a template it uses you'll notice like it's full of our like the bunny speed lines the convertry blue like it's it's very specific to convertry this is this is what you can achieve with like a super talented designer you know a highly paid copywriter um, you know, convertry, convertry is the tool to do it. Um, what we, um, what we are looking to do is template uh, sections or elements. So when you've got a squeeze page, it doesn't really make sense to break it down into sections. It's just the squeeze page. You've got like, and in fact, let's let's talk about a specific page. You know, so here we've got like, you know, hero image, headline, little bit of text, bullets, and the opt-in. You don't really need sections to that. You can just edit it as is. On a sales page like this one, when you're using this as a template, you could use this exactly as a template, you know, follow the exact format. But the moment you've got like, let's say you've got more testimonials than this has got, or let's say, you know, your guarantees formatted differently, or whatever else, what you or more importantly, in a different order. Uh, what we think would be super good is to have sales page section templates rather than a full sales page. So instead of it just being a sales page, you will have a testimonial section, you'll have a guarantee section, you'll have an FAQ section, you'll have a lead section, a headline section, a hero section, et cetera, et cetera. And then you'll be able to move them around on the page, add them in one go rather than having to build it up from scratch. 
and just generally we think that will be much more uh, much more useful for sales page building so the uh convertry.com site itself no we like that that's never becoming a template it just doesn't make much sense for it to become so but making sales pages easier to build by templating stuff that's definitely something we want to tackle uh hey jp uh so stripe accounts uh stripe accounts can can obviously take multiple currencies our stripe integration is one currency per account so if you want to sell in more than one currency you will need our agency edition and then you have you use sub accounts to have the multiple currencies um uh oh, sorry apologies if i get your name wrong uh evaristo evaristo um sorry um uh, yep, it doesn't matter whether you use Convertory subdomain um, or like your, obviously you, your own domain will probably rank better for whatever your term is than a Convertory subdomain. But Convertory subdomain still rank perfectly fine. Um, don't don't overthink it. Um, uh, so no, the the agent. So hey, Mason, the agency tier. Um, you can't put your own branding on it in the sub accounts. You are you are providing client access to a convertory account you are this isn't this isn't white label this isn't reselling this is your ability to do work for clients and give them some access um, it's not a reseller program it's not a white label program so none of your own branding etc uh yep so uh, sab is asking uh, if you can integrate convertory pages into wordpress you uh you absolutely can however i do advise you not to um, let me let me explain. So we've got a WordPress plugin. Um, what this does is it lets you, let's say your domain is www.domain.com. What I would advise is you either have your blog on www.domain.com and then your landers on something like, your convertory page on something like offers.domain.com. This lets you have all the load speed benefits of convertory and it's so much easier to set up. Um, or you could swap it the other way around. This is what we do for Convertory. You have your Convertory pages on www.domain.com and then you put your blog on blog.domain.com. Both of these work super well. It's just kind of which is slightly more important to you than the other. If you really want, you can have your WordPress blog on www.domain.com and then use our WordPress plugin to show pages from Convertory underneath that domain uh, using an iframe. But please be warned, some of the more complex functionality, like sticky headers uh, is a good example, uh, won't work in the iframe, uh, particularly on iOS devices. So highly recommend don't use the plugin. Like we provide the plugin because everyone insists on using the plugin, but I highly recommend using a subdomain. Like we'll help, if you don't know what a subdomain is, don't worry, we'll help you set it up. Um, but I highly recommend going that way rather than trying to put it both under the same domain. It's a lot harder to set up and it won't work as well. Um, yeah, so um, Fred's asking about things like uh, sending uh, sending email notifications when a lead is captured or whatever. That That's definitely on the list. Um, uh, along with the like the ecom stuff to figure you know b being told you've got a lead capture is a bit like eh, do you do you really care yes or no um you know particularly with you know on an autoresponder type level when it's you know you've made a sale you probably have need to go and fulfill this sale like you need you really need to know about that um so upgrading our webhook system and just having notification emails, we think like that again goes from kind of like nice to have to you're probably not going to be able to use it without it. Um, hey, Everisto, um, I can't really do a demo of that uh, today. And kind of when you hear the list of e-com functionality we've got coming up, you'll kind of see why um, as well. Uh, yeah, JP. So we um, we capture pretty much every field you can think of. Um, you can put as a as a field on a convertory page and capture the details. Um, yeah. So the the the, uh, the rough template plan is to have. Uh, we want to upgrade the existing ones we've got. We want to flesh out a bunch of funnel templates. 
uh, kind of one for each. There'll be like a, a, a webinar template, a software funnel, a etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So we've got a funnel for each of the main things, and then probably start hitting niche specific ones. So whereas to start with, we'll have a really good opt in funnel. We'll start trying to hit niches. So it's like local. Uh, you know, these ones are good for like local businesses. These ones are good for digital product sales. These and cr- trying to niche it down and have a a wider selection of templates is kind of the idea we're going with that. <laughs> I love this. So um, you guys can't see this bit of my screen, but I've got a question and answer box that I basically I scroll down as we do this. And uh, I will frequently like do a demo or answer a question. And then I'll, I'll come to a section where obviously five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, whatever, I was talking about something that people really liked. And I've now got a load of people saying like, good idea, love the idea, that's fantastic, etc." cetera. Um, but I don't actually know what we were talking about at the point they typed it. So whatever it was, oh, uh, somebody says, yes, section would be great. So we're probably talking about sales page sections. Um, so yes, uh, I'm glad you guys like that idea. Um, yep, yeah, so uh, we, uh, just to reiterate, Avery, so we, we don't, uh, we do not make estimates of when uh, stuff's going to be released we do our best so we release stuff every tuesday everything that's been done in the last week we release cool new stuff every tuesday uh like clockwork have been for the only only two weeks we haven't done it since since we launch are the weeks of christmas because we're not insane and when we're like trying to spend a long weekend with our families we don't really want to be there you know on an old cruddy laptop trying to like fix things because we did a deployment at the last minute so we don't deploy at christmas but other than that Cool new stuff every Tuesday, bug fixes every Tuesday without fail. Um, and so like we don't hold stuff back. It's not like like a lot of companies like you know have stuff ready and they don't release it for two months because they wanna they want to announce it and they want to do a big marketing push. Like we don't do stuff like that. When it's ready, we roll it out to you. But what that means is we don't forecast when stuff's gonna be available. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hey, Terry. Uh, Terry's asking if this uh, good for like a video agency and pro- uh, promoting videos. We're fantastic for that. We've got a um, so we're our our biggest affiliate partners um, are videos. The yeah, V I D Y O Z E videos. Um, and so we have a load of people uh, that use Convertry to uh, sell sell videos to us. So I'm just gonna have a swig of tea while I read. Uh, yes, yeah, Carl's asked, um, if you place uh, a page created in Convertry on a WordPress website using the plugin, uh, should you mark the pages in Convertry as no index, no follow? Um, uh, mark them no index. You don't need to mark them no follow. So no index is what tells the search engines not to, uh, not to index them. Um, you want them to be followed because you want the link juice to your other sites. Um, however, I must stress how much better it is to not use the WordPress plugin. You will make your life so much easier. Uh, yep, so we'll talk about payment processes in a minute. Ah, yeah, hey, Greg. So Greg's asking about our integration with Product Dino. So yeah, we've got a, um, I mean, we, Convertry publishes what's called a webhook, which means basically any any membership site, software, whatever can, as long as they do the work to to integrate that web format. You know, we've made it pretty easy for them. Um, you know, you you should be able to like make a product sale in Convertry and then get the details added to the other one. the The main one we're integrated with is called Product Dino, and we have a we have a special deal uh, we've arranged with them for Convertry customers. Um, I don't I don't have the details to hand, but if you'd like to like to check it out. Uh, if you're interested in picking that up, do uh, ping an email to support at convertry.com and we'll uh, uh, we'll make sure you get the, the special offer. Uh, don't buy it at the public price. Uh, hey, I had uh, so, uh, product variations and stuff I'm going to talk about with econ functionality in just a minute. Hey, Dale. Um, no greater agency. Uh, uh, so yeah, you can upgrade to. So if you're uh, a charter member from the original launch in 2016, there is a we run periodic special deals. Um, if you if you ping an email to support at convertry.com, we'll help you get upgraded to agency. 
um, at the, the the charter member rate. Uh, no worries there. Uh, so, uh, Richard, um, I won't, I won't <laughs> hey, Richard, uh, I won't read out your uh, specific questions. It won't mean anything to anyone else. Uh, yeah, so, so we publish our, we publish a webhook, uh, for a format not in, uh, JSON format because basically we, there's an industry standard format. Clickbank came up with like a decade or more ago and everyone copies. So that, that's what every other piece of software is already in implemented so we our webhooks are in that format it's a kind of naff format it's not json it's not modern but it makes it so much easier for everyone to integrate with um so that that's the format that's currently sent out uh so no it's not json but yes you can send it to whatever endpoint you want oh uh that's for sales not opt-ins at this point Oh, I see. That that's quite cool, Fred. Uh, it's Fred saying like se sending um, where it's a name and phone number for salespeople to follow up. Yeah, I had. To, sorry, you know. So we we sell um, we sell a you know a small price thing to a lot of people. Like we don't have salespeople. This is the closest thing to a sales call we do. Um, is me just kind of hanging out and talking about the software. Um, so uh, I hadn't really considered that. Yeah, cool. We're, we'll, I will definitely prioritize uh, making sure we get. Um, alert emails configured um, for that as well. That's cool. Uh, hey, Ken. Yep. Uh, we always record these. So like, no, no promises it's going to work, but it, it has always so far. Uh, and they're usually up in the next uh, few, few whatever's, a uh, few days. Um, will uh, will Thrivecart be included at some point? Uh, hey, David, I'm not sure what you mean by included. Um, we're our convertry cart is over the next few months is probably going to start doing most of what Thrivecart does. So, uh, like we don't have any specific integration plans there. Um, we're more just planning to upgrade our own cart, uh, and make it awesome. Um, yeah, cool. So th this is, this is something I'll come on to in a minute. In fact, let's, let's talk about it. I've done loads of questions. So I'm going to move, move on. Sorry. I, I see there's more questions. I'm going to, um, I will come back to them and do those in a mo. Let's talk about some, some UI UX stuff, uh, next, uh, since it ties in nicely. So, uh, JB's question was, uh, how do you, how do you access the funnel templates? And then he's come back a, a minute later, say, oh, he's found it, you know, it's, uh, by going to add page. So there's two parts to this. One is we want to make it a load easier to find individual page templates at the moment that that screen, when you add a page, was built when we had about 30 templates, maybe 40 if you had a template club membership as it was then. And at that point, it was all right. Like it was, you know, it wasn't even great then, but it did the job. Now, when you're a pro or agency member, you've got over 200 templates in there and it sucks. It sucks something chronic. Um, it's really hard to find what you're looking for. Um, it's super annoying. Uh, so we're fixing it, basically. So what you're looking at on my screen now is the uh, mock-up for how it's going to look. So you'll be able to search by like tag stuff. Um, we've got a number of theme concepts, the template type that you're looking for. Um, and it should just make it a load easier to to find the templates you're looking for in your account. And then the the other part of this, so at the moment, there is no concept in Convertry of just adding a whole funnel in one go. Um, or what you do is you create an empty funnel, then you add each of the pages from the same template set, if that's the funnel you want. We think that's a bit naff. We think, you know, us being a uh, funnel builder, like you should be able to like create a funnel uh, in one go, particularly for the most common uses. Uh, so as well as having page templates, we're going to have full funnel templates uh, that you can pick from when you create a funnel as well. Um, but I don't have a preview of that to show you yet. Uh, but that's that's the idea that we're going with. Um, uh, hey, Ken, so Ken, Ken asks, uh, why do you recommend not using the WordPress plugin? This, this is really worth dwelling on because I know everyone loves their WordPress plugins. Um, so when you, when you show convertory pages using the WordPress plugin, we use what's called an iframe to show the convertory page on your site. Uh, but what, what it's really doing is putting a very, very thin layer. Um, it's literally a page within a page that says this page is actually over there. So it's not a redirect. It still shows your URL, 
but the uh, the underlying page is still coming off our servers, still loading in the background. Sorry, excuse me, Microsoft's trying to update itself in the background. I'll go away, Microsoft. Okay. Um, so, sorry, that's really throwing me off track now. Uh, so that that's showing the, the page on your site, but doing it through an iframe and making making everything that Convertry does work in an iframe is super difficult. And it's really, really, really hard to make stuff work in an iframe uh, on iOS browsers, so on an iPhone. Uh, so there are pieces of functionality. Uh, so there's, and what I'm talking about here is these are known bugs in browsers on iOS. You know, th these aren't convertory bugs. These are bugs in iOS that we haven't yet been able to work around. Um, so when trying to make the sticky header work in the iframe, uh, that definitely goes wrong. And there's some problems with some form, uh, some form positioning in a layer uh, that will also not work when it's in an iframe. You make your life so much easier by using a subdomain instead and your pages will also load faster because when you when it goes through a WordPress blog page, basically the, the end customer's browser has to contact your WordPress site, then the WordPress site loads the iframe and then the iframe loads the page. So it takes a lot longer than if you were just going to um, the page anyway. Like you don't need, don't even need another domain. Just set up like you know offers or specials or landers, or you know even hi dot your domain dot com. Um, as I say, it's super easy to do. We'll help you do it, um, and then you don't have any of the faff with the the WordPress plugin. Um, Oh, excuse me a second. Uh, go to webinar. Is, um, can you guys still hear me, please? Go to go to webinar. Like the the screen stopped updating for me. Can can you just say yes? Stick a one in the chat box. Say say something so you know. Excellent, fantastic. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna have to uh, try and close and open this again. There's I can't. I can see the yeses, but not the questions. Okay, there we go. We're back. Sorry about that. Um, Gerald asked how well we integrate with Leads Flow Pro, and I have no idea because I've never heard of that before. Sorry. Um, uh, yeah, hey, Mike. Mike's asking about uh, videos and PDFs uh, to help with uh, product dyno setup. So there's there's definitely one on if you go to help.convertry.com, all of our video tutorials, PDFs, everything's available there, um, and there's a, a walkthrough for that. Um, um, Joe's asking if we could uh, integrate Pay Kickstart. Uh, uh, could you let me know what about Pay Kickstart you want us to integrate? Because the answer is probably uh, like if it's the kind of cart stuff, like we we're upgrading our cart functionality, so we probably don't need uh, need to. Um, that, as in, we will do it ourselves rather than looking to integrate other people for that. Um, hey, Andrew, Andrew's asking about uh, any news on being an affiliate. Uh, you can already be an affiliate. If you go to, um, if you click on your name in the top right hand corner in Convertry, there's a link through to the affiliate program. It's currently on JVZoo. Um, and uh, then you can promote Convertry and earn 30% on any recurring sale. Um, okay, so plan plan types. Uh, Every is asking about agency rights, but let's, uh, let's talk about all three. So uh, there's three, three Convertry plans, standard, pro and agency. A uh, standard comes with 90% of stuff. It's good good for most people. Um, Pro adds uh, a load more templates. Um, and also, so there's 30, 30 odd templates in standard, I think, and over 200 in Pro. Uh, you also get the more advanced integrations, uh, such as Active Campaign, Drip, uh, basically the, the more complicated ones. Um, are in pro uh, you get more 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 funnels more pages more page views blah 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 um, you and you get team members which is the ability to add like, like other other users to your account so your VA your designer whatever can work on your pages without giving them your login uh, so you can control their access and you can control that kind of like per site as well so you can say you can work on this one but not this one um, then we've got uh, agency, which is the ability to have up to uh, twenty-five sub accounts, uh, and if you do a if you do go over twenty-five, you can buy buy more, obviously. Um, and a sub account is the, your ability to uh, 
so if, if you're doing complicated sales, it's the ability to sell in multiple currencies because you, you can only have one currency per convertory account. But that's not the main use. We've only got like out of the thousands of people using it. I think we've only got two or three guys using it that way. Uh, the main use is so that you can give your clients access or so you can keep your client's stuff separate in its own sub account. Uh, that means that they can integrate. You can integrate their MailChimp account or their SendLane account or wh whatever services is their Stripe account um, without affecting yours. Because just per convertory account, you can only have one of each. Um, and you can also give them limited client access uh, to each to the sub account that if their stuff is in. So they can edit any pages you make as well. So if they want to, if they want to make a change at 3 a.m., they can do it themselves. They don't have to call you up. Um, we've got client, we customers of ours position this both ways. Some people uh, like to basically turn it on for all their customers and say, or you can pay us more and you won't have access. We'll do, you know, we're, we're full service. We'll do everything for you. Other people say, you know, for an additional fee, you'll be able to have access. Um, you can position it either way around however you want to happen to do it. Um, uh, I don't, there's not a stand name for the format, Leon, uh, for the webhook. There's an, an apology that I don't have. Um, uh, we've only done a write-up that we've sent to specific vendors we're trying to integrate with. I really need to get like a developer's uh, portal set up with the details. Apologies. Um, oh. Oh. my tea's getting cold that's very disappointing okay wow 50 minutes going already okay so um, uh, Leon says you'd like to be able to uh, look through the templates happen to click on add a page uh, awesome I'll put it on the features list but uh, you can't at the moment uh, yeah control F definitely helps to find templates the only problem is like they're not tagged they're not so you, you can find a template by its name uh, but it doesn't come with a lot of other info. So unless you know specifically what you're looking for, if you're looking for like a blue template for like selling books, um, there's just no way to narrow it down. Uh, hey, Terry, sorry. So what, what you're looking at uh, on the screen at the moment is a mock-up of what the template selector is going to look like when we revamp the UI. Um, it's not... It's not what it looks like at the moment. This, this isn't the pro version of. Sorry, I know it says pro that pro on a couple of these templates. This was just a. Uh, this is a design mock up uh, for what the new UI could look like. Um, so sorry, I, I see we've got a ton more stuff, but I'm going to I'm going to do a bit more UI UX discussion because this is my, this is my favourite screen. I want to show you. Uh, this is what the new. So on this one, you can see we've got the the current frame because uh, this was made quite early on in the process. On this one, this is what the new UI is going to look like. Um, and I personally think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that is showing two things here. One is the new menu layout uh, we're going for, the new color scheme. Uh, you know, it's not radically different. It's still the convertory blue. It's still the bunny. Uh, but we've got a bit of a different menu hierarchy going on. And also what you're seeing in the middle is the new integration section, which... Um, oh God, it just looks so much better um, than the rubbish I did myself uh, when we did this section. Uh, I can't wait to release this. It uh, it just looks so much nicer. Um, so yeah, this this is the new new menu layout. Uh, we'll be separating. So ca campaigns probably this was done by the design. This will probably just say funnels because that, that that's what this is. And the cart is all of your like you know products orders. This is the stuff we'll be talking about in a minute. Um, you know, the, the kind of the e-com fun type functionality. And then account is the menu stuff you see here, which is basically everything, um, everything that doesn't fit under funnels or selling stuff is an account setting and it goes here. Um, cool. Um, going back into the chat box, <laughs> Sean says, says, take away the plugin, ban the plugin. Yeah, I'd love to. I really would. It, it does cause so many issues. Um, but it, it basically... Every time I tell people, just don't use the plugin, it's so much easier. They're like, use the plugin? Okay. Um, so unfortunately, the plugin remains, and we do our best to update it and make everything work in it. Um, uh, but some, some days I regret ever building the thing, because it, it just makes our life really hard. Uh, thank you to everyone that stuck the yeses and ones in the chat box. Uh, uh, I did appreciate that, by the way. 
Uh, yeah, so any any details like you know stuff about the plugin, for example, help.convertry.com, all our documentation there. Oh, I see. It's the the affiliate side of stuff you're after. Cool. Okay. Um, I, I'm I'm certainly not against it. It's, what it's worth noting is you can already get buy buttons onto Convertry pages for just about any service you like. So PayPal buy buttons work really well. Um, JVZoo ones we've used a lot ourselves. Uh, Pay Kickstart will work exactly as well. Get their buy button code, put it in a custom HTML element, and then you can get that onto your Convertry page and. Uh, then after they click it, obviously it goes off to pay Kickstart, but you probably don't even need um, a convertory integration uh, to get started with that. Yeah, definitely Patrick. Patrick saying, um, yeah, dynamic text will mean more money for it. It absolutely will. So um, just just to be clear, dynamic text, you've heard me talk about it. That is going to be a pro level feature. I can't, I can't guarantee what level any of this other stuff I'm talking about. Obviously, the new UI, everyone gets that. We're not main maintaining two user interfaces. Um, but uh, dynamic text uh, will be a pro level one. Uh, that, that's definitely been decided. Um, uh, do we have a uh, question? Do we have integrations with ConvertFox, PayPal, and cryptocurrencies? So, in order to ConvertFox, no, but we're going to add it really shortly. They finally released their API after months of promising it to us. Uh, so, assuming their API actually works, um, uh, that'll be really soon. Uh, PayPal, you can already put PayPal buy buttons on the page. But actually, like deep integration for selling through PayPal and like the orders showing up in Convertry, that that's going to be in the sort of like e-com update over the next few months. And cryptocurrencies, nope, absolutely no plans whatsoever. Uh, yep, yeah, reporting se uh, segmented per sub. Basically, if you think of a sub account as a completely separate Convertry account, um, you you won't be far off what it actually looks like. Uh, okay, so um, the uh, sorry, I've got a couple of questions about template. Uh, let me start from the beginning. When we originally sold Convertry uh, 18 months plus ago, um, we had the base version and template club, which was literally just get more templates every month. Uh, since then, uh, standard has got a ton more functionality, uh, but it's still standard. Uh, template club has become pro. So if you if you were a template club member, you were automatically grandfathered in uh, into the pro stuff. You get all of the pro stuff uh, without paying any more money just for the same template club subscription, as long as you maintain the template club subscription. Um, and agency is a new tier that we added on top of that. Uh, so if you were a template club member, you get all of the pro stuff, but you don't get the agency stuff. Uh, you would need to upgrade to get that. Awesome. Glad, glad to see. Oh, lots of um, lots of people saying they like the new UI. Uh, so um, cust basically, if you want to integrate a service that we haven't integrated already, you're probably going to need to wait for our Zapier integration um, uh, in order to integrate it. Like you know, we, we add new integrations all the time. But if you're looking, if the question is how do I integrate this other thing, um, it, it, it Zapier is usually the answer for that. Um, Awesome. Uh, I appear to have got to the, uh, nearly, uh, oh, Joe says Convertry is my hero. Fantastic. And I got to the end of the question list. So that means we get to talk about cool new stuff that's coming up. Uh, so let's, let's start with the one we've uh, talked about a bunch already, uh, and that's dynamic text. Reminder, dynamic text is a pro-level feature. Um, uh, you know, I, I 
uh, in, in the past, I haven't been, been perfectly clear about some of these things. People have said, oh, you know, I, I thought I was getting that in standard and, you know, it, it's pro. So I'm trying to be as clear as possible on anything I talk about. I don't know what it's going into other than dynamic text, which is definitely pro. Um, dynamic text is the ability to have customized the page when it loads based on stuff in the query string. Now, if you don't know what a query string is, that's uh, when you have a URL, it's like www.mydomain.com slash page. Then when you have a question mark and then something equals something else after that, that bit at the end, that's the query string. So the bit we particularly care about is the ability at the end to say something like keywords equals and then something. So you might say, for example, you might have a tourist landing page. Uh, you know, you're, you sell holidays and you want to customize the page based on the town city that they've just been searching for. Um, you they might have been searching for a particular color of products they might have been searching for basically the ability to change a an otherwise generic landing page to be more specific to what they're after um so and to do so you don't have to like pre-publish a page for every single option you we we do that for you live at the time the search has come through so uh, you know they, they've searched for you know discount holidays in london and your page the headline of your page will be fantastic discounted holidays in and then it says London because they were just searching for London. Um, that's what we're working on at the moment. Uh, we're, we're hoping to have that released in the next couple of weeks. And uh, it's super exciting because it will, it really is amazing for your AdWords campaigns, uh, adding this feature to it, um, making, making your landing pages more specific to what they've just searched for. Super cool. Uh, nope, dynamic text. Sorry, Patrick. Dynamic text is purely for changing text to say text uh, on the page. There's no no other elements affected at this stage. Uh, so, uh, hey Jeff, uh, we geo geo IP like locale specific pages is uh, it's not connected to dynamic text, but it is something we're working on in the background. Uh, so, our, not annoyingly, our our CDN nearly supports it already because um, we're th this. This is a boring infrastructure thing that you guys like. You don't really care about, but we're doing it because we, yeah, we need to. So we're beefing up our content delivery network. That's what lets us keep loading our pages super super fast, and we're also building in support for a number of things um, in there. One of which is. Uh, the ability to show a different page to different people based on where they are in the world. Um, and this is going to be particularly useful for, uh, for example, maybe you want to show a really heavy handed opt in page to European citizens because of the new GDPR stuff. I'm going to bore you within a minute. Um, but you want to show a far more laid back page to everyone else in the world because um, their governments are far more relaxed about opt in capture. Uh, that's that's something that we and the CDN itself will support uh, probably in a couple of weeks, annoyingly. Uh, but the user interface to configure it will be along quite a bit later, just so you know. Um, so I know that's a distinction without a difference, and you don't really care if the underlying supports there if you can't use it. Uh, but I, I'm just I'm just sharing what's going on with us. So there you go. And um, what else we got? Um, uh, so no, so ch char charter members uh, have access to the standard plan. Um, if you want to upgrade to pro or agency, that's with an additional fee. But for being a charter member, we will do you a special deal if you email support at convertry.com. Um, hey, Leon, can you, that's a, that's quite a complicated question. If you can email support at convertry.com, uh, we'll be happy to help you with it. It's just not something I can really do on a live call like this. Um, uh, Ken's asking, uh, possible to pays the work well with Google pay per call. Uh, that's the first time I've ever even heard of that. So maybe, um, can you, uh, there's pro pro probably best I don't like, uh, get the details here. Could you drop a few notes about how it works to support a convertry.com? Uh, so I can look into it and find out, um, rather than trying to like, I'm going to try and look it up on a live call. Uh, that will probably go wrong. Right, the next thing we're going to... Um, <laughs> oh, has chanting e-com, e, -com, e -com. Um, You can talk about e-com in maybe 10 minutes. Um, the, the next thing we're going to talk about is the GDPR. Um, 
uh, which is one of the most boring topics on the planet. Um, but you're going to have to care because European politicians care. Uh, and because they care, we have to care on your behalf. So uh, the GDPR is the new laws that from May will govern any uh, personal data capture done of any European person uh, from May this year. If you're capturing their details, if you're emailing them, if you're storing personal information, you have to care about the GDPR. And it's uh, basically our job as one of your providers to make sure we care about it on your behalf. We, we can't do everything that's involved, uh, but we can do a big chunk of it for you. So Convertry uh, is already nearly GDPR compliant. Uh, one of the main things that uh, the GDPR dictates we have to provide um, is a way for the end customer to be forgotten. So they, they have a right for to they needs to be an easy way for them to say, I no longer want this company to have my personal details. So what we're going to provide is a way uh, you'll go to something like app.convertry.com slash GDPR. From there, you'll be able to type in your email address. We'll send you an email with a magic link in it. That, that's how we confirm it's actually you. It is your email address. You're not just trying to look up somebody else's personal details. That will take you to our like GDPR portal. And from there, you'll be able to see exactly what data Convertry has on you and which, which Convertry customers have that data on you. And then there will be buttons to download it, which is a GDPR requirement, and a button to say, I want this to be forgotten. I no longer want this company or these companies to have my info. Um, so any, And then anything that Convertry stores about them that we don't have a legal requirement to keep, we will then give to them or delete at their request. So it's important to note there, there are some gray areas here. So if you, if you sell a product to someone, uh, particularly if you've shipped them a physical product, there are legal requirements to, to keep what you have shipped to them on record for a period of time. Um, sales invoices are typically required to be kept for seven years. So if you have a sales invoice, like that data um, about the sale, like they, they can't ask for that to be forgotten. They are your sales records. It's important you maintain them. Um, but if you just have like a marketing email address, their personal, you know, personal email account, their name and so on, and they wish that to be forgotten, uh, we will support doing that within the Convertry system um, on your behalf. So, so you won't have to worry about any of this. Um, you should make sure that you're so we, we can only support that up to the edges of Convertry. You should make sure that your autoresponders are also going to be GDPR compliant because from May, this will matter. If you live somewhere that's not in Europe, like you can decide you're not going to care, like you're supposed to, but it's gonna be hard to enforce. If you live in Europe and you do business in Europe, like you're definitely going to have to start caring from May. Um, and I'm sorry to bore on about politics and data retention stuff. Um, I can see a couple of people have left the call uh, because I'm talking about it, uh, but it does matter. Uh, you guys need to care, so we're caring on your behalf. We will take care of everything we need to uh, to be completely compliant by the time it comes in in May. Uh, make sure the other services you use do the same. End of boring. Uh, GDPR, if you want to Google it. Uh, yeah, sorry, Robert. Uh, Robert, Robert's saying, can I go back to the questions after I discuss the new stuff? <laughs> That's a valid point when we've been here for an hour. Sorry. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about the e-com stuff uh, that we're going to tackle. So we talked about dynamic text, we talked about GDPR. Let's talk about selling physical products and the stuff we want to support. So a bunch of this stuff is also good if you want to sell digital products or capture payments for just about anything. Uh, some of it is uh, e-commerce physical product specific. So the first thing is product variants. Uh, at the moment, when you sell sell a product on Convertry, you can sell one product per page, and there's an optional ticky box for a bump sell, but that's it. Um, you can't sell small, medium, and large. You can't sell a one, two, three. You can't sell a red one, a green one, or a blue one. There's no customer choice at that point. If you want to do that, you have to have a first sales page that sends them to a different checkout page for each of those variants. Um, that's pretty clunky. Um, it's not uh, as good for conversions uh, and it's a royal pain for you guys to set up. So uh, what, what this is going to enable you to do is we're probably going to do this by having the concept of product groups. 
So you will still create them as separate products in the system, but then you will group them together and say, you know, that this is a small T-shirt, a medium T-shirt and a large T-shirt. And then you'll link the product group to the sales page and then we'll have radio buttons, drop downs, basically ways for your customer to select which of these variations they want to buy. Uh, so you've only got to maintain the one page and then the customer can, you know, they can make their choice. You'll be able to sell them for different prices. We'll have dynamic elements on the page. So you'll have, you know, you'll be able to have a cart total. And when they change between them, you know, m maybe you have a, maybe it's red, green and blue and they're all 10 bucks. But maybe your small T-shirts are seven bucks, your medium T-shirts are nine bucks, and your large T-shirts are eleven bucks. Um, you know, maybe, maybe you're doing quantity variations where it's like, you know, they could buy one, they could buy a six pack, they could buy a twelve pack, and obviously they're going to be radically different prices. So there'll be elements on the page that can update um, along with that selection. The next thing we're going to tackle um, is we're going to have a much sleeker checkout system. So. Uh, I've had conversations with a load of people, and one of the one of the number one criticisms of selling stuff with Convertry is, uh, truthfully, that you have too much control over it. Uh, building checkout pages is really dull. Um, you know, being able to customize the last page they see, so being able to lay out the the choice buttons exactly how you want, the order total, everything like that. You know, when it's the bump sell. All of those things, people tell me they want as much control over that as possible because, you know, only you guys know what your, your end customer likes. But the actual capturing of the details where it's like, what's your address? What's your email address? Stuff like that. That bit for a checkout, um, building that, uh, people have told me it's, it's a load of work for no gain whatsoever. So we're going to support. You'll still have all the functionality that's there. So if you did want to build it yourself, you could. But we're going to have a, a pop up uh, checkout that will work, you know, super well across all devices, desktops, tablets, mobiles um, that you'll be able to customize, but not have the sort of convert tree level of flexibility with. But what it means is you'll be able to get it up and running in about three minutes rather than having to you know lay out your entire page uh, with it. It will also let us do the cool stuff uh, like the first the first like tab, the first section of this Lightbox checkout. Uh, we'll have, say, name and email capture. And then when they click forward from that, we will capture that name and email straight away. Uh, so you can do cart abandonment emails. You can, you can if they don't complete the process, you can reach out to them and say, hey, you know, you, you tried to sign up, but, uh, you know, you didn't complete it. What's going on? You'll be able to run retargeting ads to that group of people. Um, and, you know, so we will use, like, what we know to be the absolute best practice, like maximum conversion. Uh, options for you without you having to lay out these complicated pages as say specifically for that section uh, next up we're going to tackle uh, so shipping and taxes so tax is the ability to charge uh, th the main one is obviously VAT in Europe which if you're an American on this call you're like probably not my problem technically you're supposed to charge it but I doubt doubt any Americans do um, but for, for people like us who live in Europe, uh, dealing with VAT is a giant headache. Uh, so we will make sure to provide a bunch of options. Uh, you'll be able to choose things like, you know, let's say you sell, you sell a widget for 20 bucks. You'll be able to say, I want to add VAT on top of that when it's appropriate, or I always want it to be 20 bucks. And when there's VAT there, I will eat the cost out of that. You'll be able to pick how you want it to work. Then we've got uh, shipping integrations. So there will be at a base level, we're just going to beef up the order data that we provide to you, the formats we do it in, some basic tracking in Convertry. So if you're if you're doing kind of a very low volume of sales, you're shipping them out of your house and you just want to download a list and like print the labels yourself, like Convertry will be all you need. But for anyone uh, doing it on a bigger scale, uh, our goals are to implement fulfillment by Amazon as a top priority because everyone tells me that's their kind of holy grail. And uh, then one of the big fulfillment like intermediaries, such as ShipStation or one of those. And ideally, although this is we're less sure on these, uh, a variety of the print on demand services um, like Kanaki and Gearbubble um, that will let you just, you know, say, I've made an order of this, like, you know, print it, publish it, send it, um, you know, for you. We're going to uh, we're going to add a bunch of new payment processors. So this is where 
uh, PayPal integration, uh, authorized.net, Braintree. There are, there are top picks, uh, but we will look into other ones um, as there's requests for it. This is, this is the other reason that the uh, kind of done for you checkout system is so much better is you, you also won't need to worry about putting buttons for every, like all of the different services. Let's say you sell with uh, Stripe and PayPal. You won't need to worry about put, getting both onto your pages and connecting them up. You'll just need to have a checkout button and then the checkout button will drop them into our checkout flow. It'll still be your branding. It'll still be your domain name. still be all of that stuff. You know, they won't, they won't know it's convertory unless you want them to, uh, but it will, uh, it will let us do, you know, you can sell via both Stripe and PayPal so much easier. Uh, we're going to tackle things like receipt emails. So when when somebody purchases, they will get an email from you saying, you know, you'll be able to customize the email saying, you know, you, you've made this purchase. Um, it will, when you're integrated with uh, fulfillment or delivery services, you know, the, the tracking details can be in there. Um, the hope is also to, to link that back so they can, uh, it brings them back to a customer portal that, you know, lets them modify those details themselves. Uh, then we've got, uh, I've mentioned, okay, so I've mentioned the two-step checkout, so capturing for cart abandonment. Uh, coupons uh, is on the list because, uh, honestly, that should already be in there. That that feels more like an oversight. They're, that's just as useful for the digital stuff. And then uh, Zapier integration. So all of those services where you're like, I wonder if I can integrate X, uh, it makes it so much more likely you can. You know, We may not have done the specific integration yet, but if you're prepared to do the extra bit of wiring, we'll, we'll talk to Zapier. Zapier probably already talks to this other thing for you. Uh, you can wire it up that way for yourself. Um, and it just gives us so much more more reach. So that's the that's our list of stuff we're super keen to tackle. Um, I'm sure something from that list will end up not happening, but we're, we're really keen to tackle all of that over the next sort of three months or so. Um, what I'm going to talk about next is our list of things that we're they're the, they're the nice to haves. We're not sure if we'll tackle them. People have been less keen on having them. They say they've only been mentioned by maybe one or two people. Um, the first is a Shopify integration. So Shopify already have uh, a whole bunch of integrations for fulfillment and all kinds of stuff. They have really good tracking. Uh, this is quite a common request. Um, uh, for an integration there, but it's possible if we do the Zapier integration that it's a lot less necessary and you just don't need to pay for a whole other service. Uh, this That one will depend very much on what other stuff we do alongside it. Um, inventory st feedback, so whether we provide inventory levels ourselves or a feedback loop from stuff like Fulfillment by Amazon, we're not, we're not totally sure how that's going to work yet or if it's even worth tackling. Um, yeah, inventory stuff is important, but it's typically handled more by the fulfillment center than it is by um, the sales system. Uh, we will see what feedback looks like on that. Um, then customizing uh, thank you pages uh, with details of what they bought and so on. Uh, you, that's probably less necessary. You probably generic thank you pages. Um, you know, thanks for purchasing. You know, a T-shirt from us will probably do. We might look into passing more and more data into those pages so you can uh, make them more specific. And the other thing uh, we're looking at is potentially tying autoresponders to products instead of, or sorry, not instead of, as well as um, to pages. So instead of, at the moment, you, you connect it to an autoresponder by building your page and then you say when, when the the form on this page gets submitted, I want them added to this autoresponder. You'll also be able to specify when this product is sold, I want their details added to this autoresponder. Um, given you can already do so much of that through the page system, we're, we're not really sure if it's worth the time, but uh, that's that's one that's come up a lot in discussion. Wow, I need a drink of water now. That was, that was quite a long list. So that's our... Uh, that's our hit list for um, like the main chunks of stuff that's coming up uh, in the not too distant future. Uh, let me let me jump back into the uh, uh, question and answer box. Um,
Um, uh, JP is asking about GDPR, saying is not the same as giving them the option to opt out at any time. Uh, no, there's there's more to it than that. Um, I won't go into more details on this call. I lost several people off the call last time. Uh, but moral of the story, there's more to it. We're going to take care of most of it. Um, so uh, variant, variant selections will, yeah, be, be, you'll be able to create variants of your products in ConvertTree. And then when you make sale, uh, you've built your page, you'll be able to lay out radio buttons so they can pick between the variants or drop down boxes or variations on that theme so before they go into whatever the, the checkout checkout is they'll be able to make these selections uh and, and see the order total update dynamically etc yeah so um in, in terms of replacing WooCommerce, definitely for like funnel sales, um, you, you, there would be no value to WooCommerce anymore. Um, where WooCommerce would matter is if you wanted a store. Like Convertry is never going to be a browse the store type setup. You're never going to have a page um, with 20 products on and they browse around and go, I want one of those and one of those and three of them. And then they check out. That's not how our sales system works. It's not what it's designed for. The goal is that we want to sell them a thing. Yeah, you know, there may be a bump offer, there may be variations, but it's very focused around this one sale. And then having made that sale, we try and sell them something else. And we make it as easy as possible with things like one-click upsells and whatever else. But we're, you know, we're not creating this ability to browse around and like fill a shopping cart first. Uh, yeah, cool. So um, basically the, the taxation stuff, um, I can't. I can't tell you exactly how this is going to work at this point. Um, we haven't. We haven't designed it yet. But uh, d definitely, the taxation staff will have, uh, you know, different labels detected by like where they are. Um, so you know, it, it's not going to say VAT for everyone. Um, at worst, it will say you know applicable taxes. Um, at best, you know, it will be like GOIP detected. So for the various locations, it will say that the the taxes that matter we may even go as far as letting you customize it so you basically you can you can tell us the taxes you care about um we're, we're quite torn on that one that we could we could do a best practice like implementation on your behalf but a lot of people that that's quite hard for us to like know which ones you're going to be paying and not so it may be better for us to like let you say, you know, I need to charge people in this location in this way, and then we give you the tools to configure it rather than trying to say, well, you will be charging people in this location this way. Um, um, uh, again, uh, so, several people saying, what's the timeline? Uh, so uh, we do not make any kind of estimate on when this is happening. What well, I will always tell you what we're working on, what we're thinking about. I'll show you as many like demos and previews and you know get feedback as much as possible. But what what you're never going to get from me is me coming on here and saying, you know, this functionality will be available by this date. This is this is what we're working on next. I'd hope we see big chunks of this in the next three months, but that that's the close the closest we're going to do because basically as soon as any bit is ready, we will roll it out. You know, this stuff isn't going to, the only thing that's going to be sat around for longer than normal is the new manager UI, This the stuff you're seeing on my screen at the moment. Uh, and that's simply because we've got a load of tutorials to update and we don't really want to release a new UI without new tutorials and we can't make the new tutorials until the UI is ready. So that will kind of be ready and sat around for a week or so before we release it, uh, just so we can update as many of the tutorials as possible. Uh, Terry's asking, does a page uh, has a custom domain receive organic traffic like a page hosted on a site like HostGator? Uh, yes, in exactly the same way. Uh, but I should note that basically no, no, you basically no page that you put up on the internet, whether it's like on you know HostGator or Convertor or anything, it's incredibly unlikely to just get traffic on its own. You want it either ranking in Google, or you want want to run Facebook ads to it, or you want to run affiliate campaigns. Um, no, no page is going to generate traffic itself. Uh, there will always be some other factor involved, regardless of what tool you use.
Um, can't comment about affiliate tracking at this point. Uh, we thought that was going to be super important. Uh, it turned out when we did our survey, hardly anyone cared. So it's not receiving uh, top priority compared to the e-com stuff that loads of people cared about. Uh, we already have Stripe subscriptions. Uh, that, that, that's, that I don't mean in the plan. I mean, that's already in Convertry. Uh, yeah, so uh, sales taxes in the US is definitely something we want to support. And it's it's where we almost certainly get into letting you specify what you want to do. We'll probably do the research on like the like the the main ones you should be caring about and give you an option to toggle them on and off, something like that. But we'll definitely, um, uh, th there's going to need to be some level of customization uh, there because only you really know uh, best which things you should be charging for for your business. Yeah, de definitely. V variance is the kind of the key thing that everyone said is what's basically stopping them using Convertry for, for e-com sales. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, VAT, VAT numbers, VAT invoicing, etc. is a, a prime reason we want to do the uh, kind of best practice modal lightbox style checkout um, that we're just more in control of. Um, so you can you can customize it, um, it like the styling, um, you know, your own header graphics, bit of text at the top, that kind of thing. Say which fields you want shown to capture and not. But uh, you, you know, we're not trying to give you a that invoicing component that you've got to lay out and work with on the page. Um, that's just creating so much extra hassle, particularly as like you kind of you only want to show that invoicing stuff to people that are in Europe because nobody else pays VAT. Or you, you can't reclaim it even if they do. So, um, yeah, where we've got this flow that we're in control of, we, we can automate so much of that stuff without you having to put the effort in. And, yeah, it'll be a little bit less customizable, but so much faster uh, than trying to build a page like that yourself. Cool. Cheers, JP. Uh, if you can send the details of that through to uh, support at Converge.com, I'd love to take a look. Um, cheers, Patrick. Cool. Um, that's, I think, let me check my notes. Uh, so I've talked about customer support. Uh, talked about the UI and UX product team, uh, talked about the templates, uh, we've looked at the new UI, um, we've talked about GDPR and bored uh, five people enough that we made them leave, uh, we've talked about dynamic text, we've talked about physical products and e-com, uh, that's everything on my list. Um, so I'm going to throw the floor open, uh, you, you'll have to excuse me, my throat's starting, you know, I've been talking solidly for 90 minutes now, uh, well, 85 um, so my throat is starting to go a bit, but I will hang around for a little while. If you've got, um, if you've got some more questions, if you, there's anything else you'd like to to know about, please feel free to ask me. Um, you basically, well, I'll stay in, and it'll, either the questions stop or my throat gives out, whichever happens sooner. Uh, yep, Sab, we, we do have an affiliate program. When you're in uh, Convertry, if you click on your name at the top, there's uh, on the drop down, there's the affiliate program details with JVZoo, uh, which you can sign up. Uh, sign up, promote Convertry, and 30% on all your sales. Um, cheers, guys. Th those of you that are taking off at this point, thank you so much for coming. I um, uh, really appreciate it. Um, uh, we're, uh, so, G G D. P R, and it's the General Data Protection Guy. I don't even know. Um, we, we've been calling it by its acronym for so long. Uh, I will. I will stick the letters in. If you want to Google it, I'm sure that will um, stick the acronym in. That's all you'll need. Oh, uh, yeah. I think. I, I hope I sent that to everyone. Um, Uh, hey, George. Uh, no, no, no. Quite, quite the opposite of a basic question. 
Um, so difference between webhooks and Zapier. So a webhook is a format that we've, we define ourselves. We do our best to make it as easy to implement as possible, but ultimately other people have to do something with our format for it to be of any use. So let's, let's take Convertry and Product Dino. They've implemented, so when, when a sale is made on Convertry, we publish a webhook and Product Dino have implemented that webhook to, so when a sale is made, a user is created on a Product Dino membership site uh, automatically. Um, if another, another such membership system wants to do it, they also have to implement the same functionality themselves. Uh, what Zapier does is they create basically a standardized version of it. So uh, instead of those membership sites implementing our webhook format, specifically just to integrate with us, if they implement the Zapier format, so we, we implement the format to publish to Zapier, and then Zapier implement formats that publish to other people. And what that means is each person that does this only has to do one set of integrations, and then they get all of the integrations that Zapier is already integrated with available, uh, which makes it uh, it makes it a slightly harder for the end user because you've got to use Zapier and you've got to like wire these things up but it means you have access to so many more things so much quicker. Uh, Google's unaware of, the in unaware of the initial, surely not. Need EPR. Um, yeah, looks good to me. Basically everything on this page. Uh, ge general data protection regulation, there you go. Um, that's, uh, th th this, is, this is the boring topic of today. <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, awesome! Uh, thank for all the for all the people saying thank you. You're very welcome. Um, yeah, no worries. Uh, replay will be out. Um, so I usually I, I do the conversion of the recording um, afterwards, which takes a little while. I'll give this to the guys on Monday, and it's usually up by sort of Monday or Tuesday. Uh, when Wednesday, if we're, we're a bit slow and have other stuff to take care of, but yeah, we always do replays of our stuff. Oh, nice one, Patrick. I, I will check that. Um, I will check that out. Thank you. Um, yeah, Convertry is so much better than ClickFunnels. Um, well, I, I've got to say that, right? Um, Uh, yep, yeah, we talked talked about uh, payment processor integrations. So uh, uh, for, for those uh, popped in late, sh short answer is yep, we're we're doing a load more payment processor integrations um, over the next few months uh, because it's cool and people want it. Uh, so yeah, SMS uh, options uh, is something we need to uh, poll our audience on, basically, because it's a uh, you know, it's yet another integration to do, and I don't know how how desirable it is. Um, it definitely comes up a chunk, but so does everything now. Like we have several thousand users, um, so everything that people could possibly think of comes up reasonably often. Pick, picking where we focus our resources is becoming harder and harder. Uh, so uh, Doug's asking about the affiliate program. So uh, you, you get 30% of what you sell them. Uh, in the long run, we want to swap it so upgrades get credited to you. At the moment, you'll only get credit for what you sell them on the day. Um, if, if they upgrade later, you won't get credited for that. Yep, that's right, JP. You should absolutely ignore the WordPress plugin uh, and as you put it, just scrub it from your eyes. Like it's there because people insist on using it and making my life hard. Um, but but um, subdomains is a so much easier solution and your pages will work better for it. Yeah, like so, so many people have told me that fulfillment by Amazon uh, is like the holy grail of like, um, integrations for 
uh, funnel builders and just just nobody seems to be tackling it so that 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 integration is really high on our list um there's a, a guy on our team our project manager you've probably seen him in the facebook group a guy called josh who does a lot of he works for a company that ships physical products as you know he works for us as well um he does a load of physical products he's also got his own side gig where he sells physical products he's got a ton of experience um like knows all about amazon fba um and yeah, he's pretty stunned that nobody else is tackling this. So it's, it's one of our top of list features. Um, are people upgrading from pro to agency is less common than you would think because they're um they're just two kind of two different use cases basically um as i say pe people that bought agency to get access to multiple currencies i think there's about three um typically people are either you know if they're buying convertry for their own uses they need pro if they're buying it you know to serve clients they're buying agency so upgrades aren't that common between the two they tend to be picking what they need from the start um so you know it's something we're definitely going to fix um you know we we longer term we want to get off jv zoo we want to have like fully integrated like across the board system but uh you, you're really not missing out on that much awesome questions seem to have uh dried up a little bit and people are uh people are starting to to drip out um i'll hang around for a few more minutes though if you've got um if there's any more questions Cheers, so it was great, great to see you today. Um, yeah, cool, I, uh, I had that's a, that's a great point. So Convertry, Convertry works differently to most other uh, builders that you, you might have used before. So Convertry is fully free form WYSIWYG. So we don't aim to be, we don't provide a mobile responsive option, we provide a mobile specific option. Um, a couple of years ago, it was enough to have a kind of whatever your builder gave you mobile version. Uh, but now mobile's basically so important, you, you've you got to be customizing what you do to get the, the best results. So instead of instead of producing a like full width response to the page type system, Convertry works by the size of the thing that you put on the page and where you put it is exactly how it will display. So it, no, it doesn't respond when people like, you know, resize their browser, but what you build is exactly what they see. And that's true of desktop. And then we let you publish a different mobile version that you're in complete control of. We'll do our best to provide a mobile version. Like we have an automatic system to do it, but it won't be perfect. But then we give you the tools to customize it from there. So no, the, the only things for full width you can do is you could set like an image to be full width across the screen because you don't, care too massively in that section but your your stuff won't res respond as they resize the browser because so we want to give you complete control over exactly where you put it how big you size it exactly what they're going to see cheers darnell great to see you today thank you very much um yeah break the break points at 600 so basically what that means is tablets show desktop um and you don't have to build a third version because tablet traffic is rubbish um desktops where it's at it's where like there's more traffic on mobile there's way more money to be made on desktop so we focus on the desktop version um as the primary thing we let you build a kick-ass mobile version uh if you want to put put a bit of extra effort into it um and we don't bother with tablets because they're about two percent of traffic and nobody's making purchases either uh WordPress website using the plugin. Should the pages be between marks? No index. Uh, yeah. So um, again, at, if you use the plugin, and I highly recommend you don't, um, you you should mark mark the pages on Convertry no index. You you want you want them to be marked follow, not no follow, because uh, then that passes link juice to wherever you're linking to. But you want to mark them no index, so they they don't show up as well. It's just the WordPress one. If it's going to rank, please note pages pages using the WordPress plugin rank terribly, even by landing page standards. 
don't use the plugin, use a subdomain. It'll make your life so much easier. Oh, cheers, guys. Lots of, lots of feedback. Um, uh, great job. Fantastic service. Love Convertry. Thanks, Mike. Really nice. Um, cool. Well, um, uh, if, if you want, if you want to do, uh, full width desktop options, uh, that like respond as the browser moves, then you need a different builder because that's not how Convertry works. Uh, if, if you want to use different currencies, you need the agency version because it's one, one currency per account with Convertry. You're very welcome, Doug. Um, Doug says, thanks as always for, for awesome support and great product. You're the best. Have a great rest of the weekend, Andrew. You too, Doug. I really appreciate the kind words. Um, I, lo I love doing these webinars just because um, it's just a really kind, spirited group of people. Um, re really makes my day to come and hang out. Cool. No worries. I had happy to, happy to help. Um, cheers, David. You're very welcome. Um, yeah. So uh, JP's asking about uh, tips for SEO. So I mean, the the main tip for SEO is don't care about what's on your page. Like, in, you know, if, if you if you're trying to rank for funny cat videos, I don't know. Sorry, I've been I've been at this over an hour and a half now. I'm getting a bit tired. Um, if you're trying to rank for a thing like totally put the keywords you're trying to rank for on the page, put it in a headline, make sure it's in the body copy, that kind of thing. That's about all you can do for your pages or like on page in 2018. That's everything else happens off site, social signals, backlinks, everything else is all about what happens elsewhere on the web. What you do on the page will make very little difference. Uh, yeah, hey Andrew. Um, it's standard is almost certainly good enough. Basically, uh, let me think. So, if you're selling video products, is there anything in Pro? So, the, probably the only reasons you would want Pro are so if you've got other team members that you want to give access to your account, um, that you, Pro is good for that uh, or necessary for that. If you use one of the advanced autoresponders. Uh, such as Active Campaign or Drip, uh, you need Pro for that, and you might want the template library that's in Pro. Um, but if you're building the pages from scratch, you don't need that. Uh, they're they're the main reasons to upgrade to Pro um, in your situation. Super impressed. We got got over thirty people still on the call, um, listening to me waffle. I'm really touched, guys. Thank you. <coughs> right, the questions uh, just about seem to have dried up. I will. Um, I'll give it a couple more moments in case there's anything else. Um, but I will start wrapping up. So seriously, thank you everyone for coming out and hanging out with me um, on the call today. It's been a uh, super nice crowd. A uh, really good mix of uh, like, you know, mostly existing Convertry users, but great to have a few like uh, potential new people on the call as well. So you can see see how we hang out, how we do things. Um, thank you for giving up your weekend to come and come and chat to me and hear, hear about what we're doing. Uh, thank you for the feedback. Thank you for the questions. Um, I'm, I'm super grateful to everyone that uses Convertry. Uh, cheers, Andrew. Cheers, I had. Cheers, JP. Uh, cool. Thanks, Mike. Uh, thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Darnell. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the kind words, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A couple of people, a couple of people saying, "Where's the sales pitch at the end?" <laughs> so sorry. I know, I know you're used to like. Um, I'm supposed to have done like a hero's journey webinar where I talked to you about the you know, the painful experiences of my life and how I lived on the street with my dog or whatever. Um, but, but I have a cat and I sell software and it's cool and I hope you buy it. Um, but we, we don't do, don't do big closes on these calls. This is just a chance to hang out, get your questions answered. Um, awesome. Cheers, Greg. Thank you very much. Cheers, George. Thank you. Okay. I think we're just about done there. 
as I say, thank you very much to everyone for coming out. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the Facebook group as well. Come and hang out if you've got more questions. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>